Mincy Show. I'm Roger Hoover, joined now by the head coach of the Carson Newman Lady Eagles, Mike Mincy. And coach, it was a tight loss at Tusculum on Wednesday. Carson Newman was up at 12 at halftime. Just what happened in that second half for the Lady Eagles? You know, I wish I knew. Uh, I thought we were in good position up 12 going in at the break. And, uh, you know, I knew Tusculum hadn't played very well. And I didn't think we had played very particularly well either. But uh, coming out of the break, uh, we just had so many turnovers in that first five, six, seven minutes of the second start of the second half. And, uh, you know, credit Tusculum, they, they made a lot of shots and uh, they got into us defensively and they just made plays and we didn't. And they went on a 15-3 run there, I guess it was, to start the half. And, and that kind of set the tone uh, for the way the second half was going to be played. And it was a game of runs in that second half, but unfortunately we came out on the losing end and it was uh, certainly a disappointing loss being up 12 at the half. And your team has played really well in the second half of games. That was the first time Carson Newman had lost after leading at halftime. First time he lost after leading with 10 minutes left to go in the game. But I'm sure that's something you stress with the girls the past couple of days. Well, one thing we've looked at is the fact that we don't really start second halves really well. For whatever reason, uh, whether we go in with a lead or not, um, we just don't come out with that fire and that energy uh, it, say if we've got a lead to put people away in that first five minute segment of the second half and that's one of the things that we've talked about is you know when you've got a 12 point lead you know you can't go out there and be lax to start the second half you got to be able to uh, you know kind of put it on them and, and be the aggressor and, and, and uh, you know execute not turn it over and and try and build that lead or at least keep it at whatever number it's at in case with Tusculum is at 12 and then you know hopefully the second half will go smoothly from there but when you get a rough start you know, you trouble scoring, you turn it over, you know, people start dipping their heads and their chins and that kind of stuff. And, and then we got to pick the mood back up and, and try and survive and recover from whatever it is, however we started in the second half. We've talked a lot about this season about Shira Clark and the great performances she's had for Carson Newman. 17 points, a career high, but I know for you, you also look at the six turnovers she had in that contest as well. Right, and, you know, I feel like a broken record. We keep talking about, you know, Shira, and we talk about our athleticism and what I think she can become as a total basketball player at Carson Newman in this, in this league. And it's right now her turnovers are the thing that's keeping her from being that all-around player that we'd like for her to be. And we've talked a little bit with Shira about her shot selection, and, and I want her to get more shots around the rim and shots within 10 or 15 feet from the basket. And so hopefully tomorrow that's something that we'll look to do. And, and I think if, uh, you know, she'll get more closer to the rim, with her athleticism, I think it's going to help her and certainly help our basketball team. You mentioned tomorrow, Newberry coming to town to Holt Fieldhouse for a 2 p.m. tip-off. And finally back in a normal schedule, really, some long layoffs in between the Lenore Ryan game, the Virginia Intermont game, and this last game at Tusculum. But now you get set to face Newberry. Yeah, you know, it's, it's exciting this time of year because once conference play gets started up, all the games, I mean, all the games all year long mean something. But when it gets into conference play, you can't help but to say it just means a little bit more. You're competing against your, you know, your foes in the conference and everybody's going for that conference championship. And, and so each time you step on the floor from now until the end of February, it's going to be a battle and it's going to be intense. And, uh, you know, I like it. I like the short turnaround from Wednesday to Saturday. And, you know, scout, it's pretty tough on a scouting standpoint because you really only have those two days to prepare. And, you know, depending on what you do on say Thursday, uh, you know, it kind of puts a little bit of heat on you for Friday to get everything covered. But, uh, you know, we're excited. We're ready to get back in the groove. You know, the kids went to school uh, for two days here before we played Newberry. So the better, the more they get back into a groove and get into a routine, I think the better off we'll all be. And Newberry comes in at 2-1 and one in the conference, 10-3 and three overall this mm -hmm. season. And Haley LaPeo, really the story of that team, she's averaging 20 points a game at 16th most in the nation, leads the sack. How do you shut her down? Well, she's a tough guard for us, you know, being 6'2", and with her size, you know, it's just it's just hard. You've got to have a lot of help. You've got to be able to slough off on her with other players and, and try and make her kick it out. And a lot of times you just don't even want her to touch the ball because not only can she score inside around the rim, she can step out 15, 18 feet and knock down that jumper. So we got to figure out a way to keep it out of her hands. But she's one of those players kind of like Carnes from North Georgia. You know, she's going to get her touches and she's going to get her points probably. So we got to make sure that she's not just able to go for a big number. Uh, you know, they got Samantha Creed also there, um, the, the guard that's averaging 15 points a game. And so that tandem is one of the two best tandems in our league. And we certainly have our work cut out for us as we try and get a W tomorrow against Newberry. And Carson Newman has had some good games against some of those top scorers, top players like that. But usually it's been guards, a little bit of a different challenge tomorrow against post players. Yeah, you know, I really like playing against good teams and good players because I think your team, you know, our team in particular, our, our individual players really step up. You know, you want to step up to that challenge. And when you know you're going up against really good players, and certainly LaPeo is one of the best, if not the best player in our league, uh, you know, I hope that our players will come in with the right mindset and, and the energy that it's going to take to uh, to stop her and to stop Newberry. And Newberry, is a, a, they're a really good team, you know, one of the top teams in our league. And uh, uh, they've had some good wins this year. So we know we've got our work cut out for us, and it's always a hard battle when we face Newberry. 
Well, Coach, best of luck tomorrow against the Wolves. Thank you. Appreciate it. That was Carson Newman, head coach Mike Mincy. Thank you for watching the Mike Mincy Show.